I'd like to show you a neat feature of Google Forms that allows someone to modify a previous response. This can come in very handy when you're collecting information and you need that information to be up to date. So the example that I'd like to share with you is what I'm calling the student progress tracker. Let's pretend that I'm an English teacher. My um, middle school students are working on a multi-week writing assignment, maybe a, a persuasive essay or research paper. Each week, I'm going to have them fill out this form to update me on their progress. So it's got some basic fields, you know, name, class period. Um, but the two questions that are really important are which project elements have you completed? So I'm using the checkbox field. Ultimately, when the student has completed this assignment, all five of these boxes will be checked. Then I'm asking them, you know, today, how are you doing? How are you feeling about this assignment? And then is there anything that I, the teacher, should know or anything that I can do to help you? So that's the form. Now, what I want to be able to do is to go into the response tab on any given day and see what percentage of my students have completed, you know, the various elements of the project. The problem is that if I allow students to submit this form over and over again, this data isn't going to be accurate because a student might go in and check two of the boxes and that's going to throw off the, uh, the calculation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the gear icon, the fidget spinner in the top right corner, and I'm going to select a couple of important boxes. First, I need to collect email address and I need to limit the students to one response. So those two have to be selected together. And then I'm going to use this box that says edit after submit. So those are the, the three boxes that I need to select. And let me show you how this works. I'm going to flip over to the live form. So let's pretend that I'm a student. I'm going to type in my email address and my name. And I'm going to go ahead and fill this out. I'm going to say, okay, well, I've selected my topic and I wrote my thesis and feeling good. And today, nope, I'm all set. Great. Submit. Now, when I submit that, it's going to go into the form. And if I try to um, revisit the form to take it again, so maybe the next week I do the same thing, it's not going to present me with the form again. It's going to say, hey, you've already responded to this form. You can't submit it again, but would you like to edit your response? And by clicking edit, it pulls me back into everything that I previously submitted. And I say, oh, up oh, and yep, today I identified my sources and well, that's getting kind of hard. So I'm going to say, okay, and I can submit that again. Week three, I go in, edit my response and say, well, I did my peer edit, but it is not looking so good. I can say, I need help. Submit. Now, Back to my teacher role, I can look at my form results and I can see again who is not doing well, who is, and then who has completed which assignments, and then I can see those comments. Um, I can go into the individual responses, flip into the last person who took it, go to number six. And that will show me uh, what I just did and say, oh, I need help. So this allows a teacher to collect the information and have that information updated. Um, there's other ways that you could use this. That's just an example that hopefully will uh, inspire you to think of other ways you could apply it as well.